The, the cover that Government Zero uh, chose to do, uh, the, the Happy Christmas, it's a good song, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, we definitely really liked it. Um, I personally never actually even heard the song until after we had already recorded it. I heard it on uh, some radio station that does Christmas music way too damn much for the holiday season. Right. I was like, oh, this is the original? Well, this fucking blows. I'm glad we redid it. <laughs> Don't hate, man. Don't hate. Uh, also, you did uh, your, your original here, uh, The Government Zero, Drunk for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Drunk for Christmas is great. Um, it's pretty much like just about getting drunk and being drunk for Christmas. And... Uh, I really like how Uncle Tim, our singer guy, threw in uh, pretty much the name of every Government Zero song we have recorded and just threw it in there in reference in the song. That was, it was pretty clever. Was really yeah, so, so I was hoping we'd get to talk to like a real member of the band, but since Tim's not here... Yeah. Oh, that's the drummer did, again. Sorry. Did, did you think in, in the, the early parts of this song that it would become such a, a, a great sing-along? I mean, it, you can't deny that once people hear it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stick in the minds of everyone. Oh, it definitely gets stuck in your head. I mean, I find myself just even walking around work just randomly, just do 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 Christmas! <laughs> yep. <laughs> It, it's I don't I don't know what it is about just whatever Uncle Tim just writes down on some paper is like an instant classic that everybody knows everybody loves and for some odd reason people we, like us I guess Johnny Five we have a, a a crazy elf somewhere north of the border in Canada somewhere wondering Daniel <laughs> north of the border though <laughs> no oh, they're an asking elf, not a short which guy. border <laughs> uh, they're asking your favorite STD. If that means anything to you? <laughs> Who the fuck is asking this? <laughs> just, just somebody. Oh, fantastic. No, really, that's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure only people in Wisconsin have heard uh, Return to Sender by Government Zero, which is, of course, about the time that I got chlamydia. And, um, and you, guys are doing a, story. you guys are doing a split EP with 4 a.m. Yeah, right? it's, uh, it's going to be called Your Sister's Legs. Uh, it's a split. Just as I it ought it. to be. I get it. Yeah, uh, about the cover Axiom did on the uh, new Maximus Volume 2. Oh, just, Santa's fed up. He's just tired of constantly, every year, uh, delivering presents to all the kids. And so he he finally just decides, screw it, I'm going to kill all these kids and then go find a new job, pretty much. There's some really good lyrics in that song, too. Man. Yeah, man. I really enjoy listening to It's really a cheery kind of Christmas yeah, number. Yeah, Can you funny. imagine being employed for the same company, delivering, and that's what you fucking do for for 100 plus years 195 yeah, yeah, it's 195 and, and, you, and you don't even get holiday off for millions of kids that really don't give a shit they just want their gifts i mean i really last over a year at a job kids. but 195 mm -hmm. jesus christ same indeed. job indeed no it's a great song and uh what about uh lonely jew that's very unique we haven't done any off of a a uh, movie or tv show or anything like that before that was a really cool choice oh, that was all casper's idea I was like, it's got to be that. Don't, don't, don't give him. Yeah. Well, I was gonna do, I was gonna do Santa Claus is coming to town, and then Santa Claus is coming to. Okay. So first of all, let's get some introductions. Uh, we know Phil Keckley. He's playing live here in about an hour or so. Phil Keckley from the Phil Keckley Band, everybody. Yeah, Phil. Cool. Good to see you, everybody. Yeah, man. What's your name behind you, man? Alejandro. And what band are you from, bro? <laughs> My name's Bill. Bill. Uh, Dr. Noise. Dr. Noise. And your stuff is coming up, so you're going to have to stick around. We have to talk to you about that. Oh. And what's your name, brother? Tone. Tone. And what band are you in, bro? I play drums for Phil. Oh, dear. Uh -oh. oh, dear. Oh, that, that can't Oh, happen. that's yeah. like, yeah. that's not yeah. Yeah. You were number 10? I'll, I'll, I'll not do the bastard of the wait, day and wait. let Tone do it. I want to hear Tone. All right. Uh, Dr. Bill. Yeah, uh, who has number nine? number nine? Number nine? No, don't give it to number nine. Don't you don't want to give it to number nine. To number, ten, uh, number eight? Who had number eight here? Hey, wait. What about oh, number no, nine? You, can, you, yeah. 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 you forgot number nine, Jim. I had number but eight. Number I nine is John. All right. Uh, who still has number eight? nine? Who has said number seven here? Jim. What about the evidence? Oh, John. All right. So you're playing, John, but that means... Uh, I'll tell you, I'm also no, a judge. We need you to judge that, okay? Okay, all right. Take all it. Right. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right, so here's what it is. We're going to ask you each two questions. Oh, man, let's switch it. And you don't gonna... necessarily have to switch it. <laughs> we will. That's a lot of work. Contestants, you're going to get asked two questions. <laughs> and uh, you have to come up with the most bastardly response. Jeremy, <laughs> Phil, good. and Darwin are going to yeah. judge. And uh, if you win, you win five hours of recording time from Megatone Studios. E-Dub, you got the questions, and take it away, man. All right. Uh, our first question, I, I don't remember names, I'm bad. Tone. Tone. 
All right, you're gonna get the first question. What's the most bastardly thing you could ask for while sitting in Santa's lap? <laughs> EJ's dick. What would a bastard? What would a bastard do? Yell out answers. A mm. oh, mom and dad. Oh. Oh. That took <laughs> me a second. Nobody got that. I got it. I got it. <laughs> It's very clever there. All right, uh, Jeremy, how would you score that? Five being the most bastardly, one being the most pussy-like with that answer there. <laughs> pussy-like. No, jeez. Uh, I'd say it's a, it's a good solid three. It's uh, reality, man. But uh, knowing there's uh, John, right, following him, and uh, Dr. Noise, and I've seen his, his YouTube channel, so I, I'm pretty oh sure God. we're going to get some pretty bastardly answers coming up here. <laughs> so what did you, what did you score it? Yeah, what's three. your score there? A three. A three. A three. three. Uh, Phil Kegley, how would you score that on the bastard scale there? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that, uh, I'm gonna give that a three as well. It was, uh, it was very clever, very, very. Took me a while to get it, but and it was really dirty too. So I mean. All right, uh, Darwin on a scale how one many, to five. How many numbers? One, five. one to five. Five being the most bastardly. How bastard was that? I'm gonna give it a one. A one. Not very. Is it more on the not pussy not side though? It was a little bit. I, I expected. It was, it was clever. Being a bastard would be wishing that some other person didn't have parents. Like that would be the bastard thing. There you go. First round score for Tone is seven. Mr. John Cooper. Lord's the try. You guys can do any freaking song in the world. What what made you come across Oh Come, Oh Come, come across Emmanuel? Well, it was one of those things where we uh, we were looking at... Okay, here's the thing. Asian metal hates, hates Christmas songs. And why is that? I, he had a terrible childhood. I don't know. I have no idea why he hates Christmas songs. But he just loathes them with a horrible passion. He loathes uh, them like wall of fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey -o. But, um... But yeah, and, and, and so we had to find something that was like minor enough to kind of grasp the, you know, the, 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 the what do I want to say, the, the omelette du fromage, the, the, the hate, you know, what as it is. What the fuck did you just say? Uh, For those of us that don't speak German, what? The cheese omelette, you know. Oh. Yeah, but, uh, you know, something that, that kind of grasped that, that minor sound, that, that kind of metal sound, the sound of like, I don't really like this song, but I'm going to play it anyway because F you. You know, so we came. Across, so we were looking at all the old timey, you know, like 1400s hymns that were like, oh, 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 you know, all minory and you know, Lydian fifth, seventh diminished, you know, period. I don't know whatever it is. I'm not a guitarist. I just sing. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so we decided on that one. That one was the best one, and uh, and it turned out the best. One. Yes, you guys rocked it. Are we going to see any special cost? Two songs you guys did on the uh, Maximus Volume 2 were awesome. We want to talk about the cover song first because, Wendy, you sang on that song and you sounded awesome. Aw, oh, thanks. That's very nice of you to say. <laughs> it was a little out of my element, I guess. But that... Well, and explain that. I mean, because you know, I mean, you do backing vocals or in, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, singing with some spot from the drums, but. This was your song. This was your voice on here. <laughs> yeah, and we had a little bit of uh, flexibility and freedom since we kind of developed it for the recording platform, I guess, rather than for the live platform. So I didn't have to worry so much about drumming and singing at the same time. So it is kind of a different experience. And All right, go on, get there. New CDs, The Slingshot Effect is awesome. Sunspot, thank Mike you. and Wendy, thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. For all you do. <laughs> Stop breaking for your next.